All right, so today what I did so far is I uh, mowed the front yard and the two side yards. And uh, I haven't used the lawnmower in a little bit and it felt good to use it. So just because of that fact, I was uh, you know, proud to uh, mow my grass. So I also, I cleaned up a little bit here and there. A couple of uh, miscellaneous things that I had to do that is not Ryobi. Uh, I vacuumed the uh, vacuumed the interior of my car and wiped everything down. The interior of the car is clean. I don't have time to use the power washer at all today. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm, go I'm going to use the the one plus chemical sprayer, the one gallon, and spray the the backyard that I just uh, took the stumps out in the previous video. So I want to just get that. Uh, get that sprayed down just in case if there's any seeds or uh, weeds just exposed that I can't see because of, of the mud so I'm gonna spray that and let that die for a couple days then uh, in the future uh, probably tomorrow I'm gonna continue working on the on the stumps oh, ready. Now it's been about a week since I used this. Now, when it comes to, I feel like I should be a little bit higher. Now, when it comes to uh, all my tools, I use them all the time. I just don't film everything. Like I'm like no one's gonna be interested in like five videos straight of this. So like uh. Just like the reciprocating saw of the video that I just uploaded of the stumps, I'm not going to upload another stump uh, removal video for a little while because no one's going to want to see me do the same thing over and over and over again. So I don't film everything that I do because people won't be interested on in seeing five videos of this nonstop being used. Just not going to happen. If it's something that I haven't done in a while, then I will. Like, I haven't filmed myself uh, mowing the grass in a, in a little bit, so that's going to come soon. Okay, those are dead. Just use this. My batteries are currently being used majorly right now. So the chemical that I use to uh, use uh, in the chemical sprayer, it's called Ground Clear by Ortho. I think that's how you say it uh, for the name brand Ortho. This was recommended by my friend Michael over at Home Depot. So he he's an expert at what he does. And so uh, so yeah, I listened to Michael on his recommendations on what to use for certain a certain situation. This is a concentrate. Uh, chemical and so you just pour it in then you dilute it with water so I'm gonna pour the, the rest of this in actually I learned last time to fill this up with water first all right so let's pour some of this in close everything up then I shake this around Alrighty, so this is ready. That's it. That's it. That's how quiet, uh, quiet this is. That's seriously like that noise is nothing. So it's it's good. I like this little device. It seriously does the trick for when it comes to spraying chemical without being it too heavy, without being on your back, and with. Uh, Spraying it continuously, non-stop. It, it's seriously good. I, I do not have any issues with this whatsoever.
Alrighty, so that's just a little demonstration of the RYOB1 Plus Chemical Sprayer, one gallon. Now they do make uh, an extension gallon to where it's to a uh, tank to where it's two gallons. But, uh, you know, holding two gallons to me, you know, it, it's a bit dreadful, you know, if you're spraying a big area. I'd rather refill it than hold two gallons. So, because this isn't that heavy, but after a while of holding it, it will be an inconvenience holding it. Now, because I do recommend if you have a bigger area to, uh, a bigger area to spray, uh, a backpack one plus chemical sprayer, which I'll put that the picture of that right now. And so, but this thing works really well. This thing it it, it does the, it does its job and it does it flawlessly. And what more can you ask for? Now, just like I uh, clean your tools, make sure all that because the cleaner you keep them, the more you'll take care of them. You know, instead of just like throwing tools on the concrete, you know, place them gently. You know, just make them last as long as possible. So, but this thing works really well. It's a Ryo, these Ryobi tools really make my job that much easier when it comes to all the tasks that I have to do around the house. That's pretty much it. You know, it's a simple, it's a simple tool, chemical sprayer. It's quiet. Oh, I don't have a battery in it. It's quiet. I mean, it's it's seriously. I I don't know what to uh compare that to so it seriously is a good tool a, a good useful tool to have especially that it's the one plus system all you, all you have to do is after you get the tool just get chemicals then you're you're good to go no pumping no nothing and uh just push the trigger button and spray now i i've been thinking uh, during uh the end of fall and winter i'm gonna have non-stop versus videos of the the tools the the main ones that are going to be uh competitive are all the impacts uh the, the the saws the drills and it's it's just going to be non-stop competitive action against each other and it, it, it's going to be good it's going to be good so if you want to uh uh if you want to be uh, notified of those videos in the fall just subscribe to the channel push the uh, the bell button and then it, it's gonna be good uh, I can't wait to start doing competitive videos you know I'm also I also have tasks that I got to do during winter when it comes to uh, working on the house so if you just want to watch non-stop Ryobi, uh, Ryobi tools in action unboxings reviews this is the channel this is gonna strictly stay Ryobi and you get to decide if the, the, uh, a certain tool is right for what you need it for. Or if, you, if it's not good enough, you can go with another brand. But this is the Ryobi Man Caver. So, this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.